If you're a Metspa owner and you're still using Boost Post to launch your ads for your business, then you're doing it all wrong. Hi, my name is Fer and I'm the co-founder of Metspa Vibe Business Solutions and I'm here with you to discuss why you should not use Boost Post. Let's dive into my computer. Alright, based from Google, why you should not use Boost Post. The difference in results between the two do speak to a longer trend. Boosted posts tend to deliver less than ideal results on a long-term perspective. And simply, they don't offer the kind of control and precision that makes Facebook ads platform so valuable to begin with. So meaning to say you have a limited control with regards to your targeting, to the demographics, to the interest, if you're just using Boost Post. In addition to that, most probably, also based from this article, Boost Post often decline in performance when you run them for over a week. So what are some of the disadvantages of boosting posts? Doesn't use the best audiences, limited audiences, you cannot change the text or add copy, you cannot put headline and description, manual based, these are already for the more advanced advertisers, no daily scaling or advanced adjustments okay now you're probably wondering if I won't use boost post what should I use so I'm here today to give you a tutorial on how you can launch your ads the correct way so simply go to adsmanager.facebook.com it should redirect you into this window so if you're a local business most probably you are looking for leads for your business so if we would click create and click on leads meaning to say our main objective for this campaign is to get leads we just hit continue we don't do other recommended we just use the manual campaign click on continue and here you go we are already on the campaign level so first things first we name the campaign so for example your um, clinic's name is beauty derm and most probably my naming convention what's the product or service that i'm advertising for for example it's Botox. Next is what's the date that I'm launching these ads. For example, today is 28th of February 2024. And lastly, how much is the budget? For example, I'm going to place $30 per day. After that, just scroll down and then click on this one. New leads ad set. Click on this one. So for this one, usually I skip first the ad set name. I will circle back to the ad set name after a few clicks or after a few minutes. For the conversion location, if you don't have a website, if you don't have a landing page, we usually use instant lead forms okay and then next is choose your facebook page so for example medspa demo i'm going to choose my facebook page and then just click on view terms accept the terms and agreement all right next one just scroll down daily budget i place it at 30 dollars, so that's around this value in our currency so for start date you could schedule it for tomorrow starting at 12 o'clock in the morning you don't have to put any end date okay and then next is for example where is your clinic located so for example, we're going to search best med spa in California. Let's see. So for example, for this one, for Medspa California, a professional corp. I'm just going to use the address San Ramon, California. Okay. So in here, just input San Ramon, California. There you go. So after clicking on the location, what you would need to check is the audience size. Rule of thumb, we always follow a minimum of 1 million estimated audience size. So let's say this is just, for example, 17 kilometers radius. As you can see, the audience size or estimated audience size is just 580. 8, what I would do for this one is in just increase the audience size to probably 20 kilometers. I still did not reach. I'm going to add another probably 3 kilometers. There you go. I already have a minimum of 1 million estimated audience reach. Okay, scrolling down. What you need to do is switch to original audience options. Use original audience. Scroll down again. And then for the age, it depends on the common customers or patients that you are servicing. So for example, commonly across all your services, you're only catering 35 years old and above. And mostly are women. We could use this as the targeting. Next is placement. Just leave it at advantage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to name the ad set as the location first and then I'm going to put the age 35 plus to 65 and then women so that when I read this oh okay I only targeted San Ramon California age of 35 and above women only so this is actually helpful if for example I'm going to navigate through this one through the ad set I would see that this ad set is for San Ramon California 35 and above so let's say for example you have five 
six in there. And then for example, for, for this one, you targeted San Francisco and you targeted another city in here. So by having this naming convention, you would be able to monitor properly the ad sets that you have. So I'm going to delete this. Moving on, click on the new leads ad. So this usually depends what type of ad you would be running. Usually from our best practices for our clients, we use either image or video. So for this specific demo, I'm going to use image ad. Okay, and then scrolling down, click on add media, image, and just put the image that you have. Click next, and then click on done. Okay, now you have your image creatives for your ad. Scrolling down, you would need a primary text or ad copy. Okay, I already have a ready-made ad copy for this one, so I'm going to just paste it here. Scroll down, headline. For example, you have a promo. Let's say you have a $150 off for first 10 customers. So as you can see, you will see the headline down here. Promo, sign up now, or click learn more. Then call to action, we usually use learn more. Next up, we need to create a lead form. So basically, a lead form is something that whenever a lead, potential lead clicks on an ad, this is the one that's going to pop up. So let's set up a lead form. So for lead form, for name, I'm, go I'm going to name it similar to how I named the campaign name, so the clinic name, and then the service, and then the day-to-day. -day. So for the form type, it depends on your objective. Do you want more leads or do you want to target people who has the higher intent of purchasing. So within the phases of our Facebook ad strategy, we usually start with more volume and go down the ladder depending on the results that we have. So click next. Intro. Um, under intro, you just use the image from your ad headline. So for headline, for example, let's say hello, we welcome them description about your promo and then click on next. Just inform them, fill up the form below. After putting up the description, now we would have to decide what are the information that you need from your prospect leads. So we already have a pre-filled um, email and full name. I would probably add a phone number within this one and place the full name above the email. So for our basic tutorial, these three information are enough. However, it depends on your requirements. You may add, for example, the address, the zip code. For example, do you want to know the date of birth, gender, marital status, and etc. Okay, so clicking on next, add link for the privacy policy. So if you have a website, just place your privacy policy link in here. If you don't have usually, I just use facebook.com. Then privacy policy. And then click on next. All right. For this one, I usually place, if you want to get the discount faster, book a call with us. And I'm going to place the number here. And so that when they click on that button, they would immediately call you. However, for this specific example, let's just use the call website. So fb.com as well. Call to action. Reserve my spot. And then you're going to click create form. Now scroll down. What we need to do is review everything that we've done. Make sure that everything is on point and correct. Starting again with the campaign name. Again, clinic name, service, date, and then the budget. This is for daily budget. Scroll down. Make sure it's leads. And then click on the ad set. Instant forms. Make sure you've selected the correct Facebook page. Performance goal is maximize leads and then budget and then schedule it for tomorrow at 12 a.m. And then make sure you have the correct location targeted. And in addition to that, a minimum of 1 million. So since I was not able to see this a while ago, so since we've categorized the age that we're targeting, what happened was the estimated audience size also decreased. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase this such a way that I'll still reach the 1 million estimated audience size. But again, this is in a case-to-case -case basis. So for example, let's try to analyze. If a person is 40 kilometers from your clinic, do we think they will drive 40 kilometers just to be your clinic? Most probably not. So I'm going to decrease this again to 20, probably 20 dollars and I'll try to work with the age group, probably include another 5 years. And now we have an audience size of around 750,000 audiences. So I think this is okay already. Scroll down, just advantage plus, click on the ad, image, name your ad, upload your creatives, image or video, place your Add copy, your headline, your description, and I think we're good to go. After checking everything, now all we need to do is click on publish. So I cannot publish this right now because I don't have a payment method um, attached in my ad account. But if you have set your account properly, you should be able to publish this right away. So after publishing, what's next? What you would need to do is to understand how to read the data that will come up here in Ads Manager. It's not enough that you know how to read the data. You should also know what to do with that data in order for you to come up with an action plan to improve your results here in your ads. For example, how much is your current cost per lead? Are you still profitable with 
with this cost per lead how much is your click-through rate are people clicking on your ad so these are just some of the examples that you need to consider when reading through your data so let me know if this is something that you would want me to create a content on regarding how to read metrics in ads manager so i'll know all right so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you found some value on how you can run your own ads for your own clinic by doing the correct way stop using boost post again thank you so much for watching this is for co-founder of Mesma Vibe Business Solutions.